What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Underground Arsenal 112th scale turtle van. So, this was sent to me by my Dr. Diecast. He bought this for his collection. I really appreciate him sending stuff like this, which I wouldn't purchase myself. This is third party after all. It's not uh, made officially licensed. So, it is kind of in the pocket of my channel. But, of course, I don't normally look at TMNT stuff here. We do have the SH Figuarts turtles here. Um, these are officially licensed, uh, but unfortunately SH Figures never made anymore. They just made the four turtles and they didn't make any other characters. So I'm still hoping that they'll still make that shredder. Uh, I still want that. But today we're going to take a look at this van with these guys. So if you have the NECA versions, then it should fit in just fine with those two. Um, all of these scale well with this van. Um, I'm going to be moving this around. This is a very large van and in order to fit in in my review area and kind of be able to do things, I may have to move things off camera to get you to the right side or the right orientation. So you may see me cut away just to do that. But let's get into this. There's a couple of things you need to do right out of the box. All right, so the first thing you want to do is install the rear spoiler. And it comes in three pieces in these bags. And you want to get these the stand pieces out. And they are... You can use it on either side, but you want the angle facing forward. So get both of those pieces out, and I'm going to have to take this back out to put it back in the box that it came shipped in, so I'm just going to be careful with this. But you want to have this angle facing forward, so get this pushed in right here. Um, it is a painted surface, so I don't know. Hopefully it comes out back out okay. I'm actually putting this in for the first time here on camera, so... And that fits in pretty nice and secure. So then you're going to take this piece here. And there's two slots that are fit into these. So line those up. And get those on there. And give it a nice little push. And there you go. There is the spoiler. And that looks pretty cool. All right, the next thing we need to do is put on the words here. Obviously, they're missing probably for trademark purposes. They didn't want to put turtles on there, but it comes with a little baggie of letters. The funny thing about these letters is there's extra letters in here, so they threw in an A, B, C. I don't know, to throw off <laughs> the scent, but obviously it spells turtles. There's enough letters to make turtles here. Now, you got to make sure you have the right T to start, and I actually wasn't sure which T because there's, there's two in here. And they look a little different. So you got to make sure you start with the right T. So I actually looked up the logo here. And this is the T that looks most like that first T in the turtles. So that's how I figured out which one goes first. So there's your T. And then we'll get our U. And I'll probably play this and fast forward so you don't have to watch me putting all these letters on, but I just wanted to point out that you do want to do this. Make sure you've got the right letters in the right order, or you're going to have trouble, especially the T, right, because that's the one that's different. There you go. That looks beautiful. Um, it's a little bit of an extra material here. Let me see if I can get that off, but all in all, Beautifully done. There's your turtles. You got an extra ABC for fun. All right, and now we are ready to play with the turtle van. Um, pretty cool. It does roll on these gigantic wheels. It's very, very heavy. Um, I, I didn't take a weight on it, but it is pretty, pretty darn heavy. You can put all the turtles in, and you can roll around with the turtles. I do like the paint job. This yellow you see here is all painted. The gray here, the white here on the wheels, all these red accents, the little lights, the details, the green, that's all paint. Uh, the green might be plastic, but then the white up here with the mouthpiece, that's all painted. So everything except for the green plastic is paint. Uh, there's a lot of features on this. So first of all, you can open up these doors. If you look on the inside of the door, there is actually a little handle. This is painted green here. And then it's yellow on this side. You can take a turtle. And if we look inside here, let me get in close. So there's the interior of this vehicle, really beautifully done. There's a lot of detail in there. There's actually moving 
parts. So this little shift knob right here, you can't, I mean, I had to open up the side of the door so I could show you, but that does move up and down. I'd be careful. The steering wheel doesn't turn. It's, it's kind of locked in place, but there's a ton of detail on this dashboard. I mean, all sorts of painted detail. There's a speedometer, there's gauges, there's all sorts of stuff. And the seats are in this nice brown color. You can get him in here and he can be riding around. Or if you prefer, you can actually put him in the driver's seat on the other side and he can actually drive the vehicle. So let's do that. I can't remember who drove. <laughs> who drove in the show, but there you go. There's Donatello driving. All right, next we'll take a look at the action here. So there's a little door that opens up this way. This is painted, so just be careful with this surface. I do see a little bit of something on there. I'm not sure what it is. But if you open this up, you've got this little gun turret thing here. So you can open this up here, flip that around. It is tabbed in right here, so you want to untab that. It is a tight fit when you first get it, so you're going to be scared to actually do that. But open this up, pull this piece out, and actually you want to close this. And then get this down, it's going to fit into the bottom of this. So bring this down and have that sit on top. Extend the barrel, push the seat back, and fold the handles up. And now it's ready for a turtle to use it. So we'll get him on here and get his hands around these handles. It, it, it's not a perfect fit, honestly, these handles, but it, you can get them on there. You can get them holding it. And man, that is, that's awesome. So there you go. There's Michelangelo. You know, I, I could probably work at this a little bit more and get him really on there a little bit better. But that's a beautiful display. Now you could probably take his backpack stuff off. That'd make him fit a little bit better. But that's really cool. You can also put another guy here in the passenger seat. All right, coming to the top, you do have some features here. So you have this radar dish. This doesn't actually do anything. It just looks nice. It's painted white and red. These guns do articulate on a ratchet. One, two, three, four, five, six clicks. You can also extend these. So those can come out and be ready to fire at Shredder and some bad guys. So really, really nicely done. You also have the opening up roof piece here. So if you lift these both up and then you rotate it outwards, you can get this to sit out like this and we'll get you a look inside there. All right, so going in from the top, I'm going to go in manually here. You can see there's a little display center right there with a radar dish. That's really cool. You got a little mat there at the entrance. Some fire extinguishers right there. You can actually see through to the front, into the front cockpit. Now if you don't like that, you can actually lift up right here and that will make a little ladder that the turtles can climb up on. That is painted and that closes off that front compartment, but really, really, really cool. There's also a little display and compartment there on the front. So a whole bunch of details in there. And then you have, of course, on this side, another little display and radar dish. And one thing I forgot to mention about the roof is there are these little clips here on the inside of the roof. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but those are meant to store the weapons. Now, they don't seem to fit the weapons from the SH Figuarts. Maybe they're meant to fit better with something else. Or maybe they're meant for something else. I'm not really sure. But I, I believe they're weapon storage clips. But there you go for that roof. All right, so coming down to the other side now, you do have an opening door here. So you can open this up and it kind of makes a little ramp. And I guess you could you know, walk up this ramp or whatever, but you can actually see through to the other side. So there's Michelangelo. You got Donatello driving and you could have another turtle kind of hanging out here or sitting on the ramp, whatever you want to do. But, uh, there you go. Pretty cool. And of course, here's the back of the vehicle. You still have the red and white. These are little translucent pieces that are glued on there. You have, again, fully painted surface. If you open up these doors, uh, I think you can open up these doors. Let me 
Get a spudger in there, it's a little tight. You can see the hole inside, so there's what it looks like. And you can store another turtle back here if you want to. So here's Raphael, and he's going to be hanging out in the back as the foot soldiers attack them from the back. But there you go. Really cool. And sort of the last piece de resistance is the light up feature. So if you come to the bottom here, I'm going to just get it on an angle so I can show you. There's a little battery compartment right here. I did already remove the screw. There's a screw right here just for convenience. I took that out already. I'm going to open up that compartment. It takes AAA batteries. So we'll get these in here. I'm actually putting these in for the first time. So I'll get to reveal the lights with you. And we'll go ahead and close that up. All right, and then we'll hit the switch. And there are your headlights. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It lights up, it's pretty darn bright. You get two of them. Let's see if I turn it off, they can show you the difference. Yeah, really neat, I love that feature. So final thoughts on the Underground Assault TMNT Turtle Van. Let's start with the positives. I love the way this looks. It nails that look of the cartoon and what I had in my head as a kid of what this might look like if they ever made it to this level of detail. It really nails it, really nails it. I love the look of this turtles on the front. That just is perfect. Couldn't be any better than that. I love the look of the front. All those little details and accents. And then that's actually throughout this vehicle. I love that you can fit all the turtles in there. You can actually have space for more. You could fit Splinter and April or whoever else you want in there. This van has plenty of space for, for more action figures. So this really could be a display piece where you this is how you display your turtles so I love that they, they made it that way so that you can actually use this not only as a just a fun play piece but a display piece as well the only negative I can really think of is the fact that the the roof here uh, when you open this up it does collide with this uh, rear spoiler. When that was off, you could actually open it all the way, but now that it's on there, it kind of gets stuck. But that's it, man. I mean, this thing is amazing. I'm really impressed. Third party has come such a long way that now they're even making stuff like this and doing a great job. So highly recommend it. You can pick this up from uh, mostly from Chinese stores, but I haven't seen it so far available on the in the U.S. retail. So take a look at that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.